Fort Collins will soon be home to one of the most powerful laser facilities in the world. It's all part of a $150 million project to create a new research center on the CSU Foothills campus. And Denver 7's Russell Haythorn spoke with laser experts about what this investment means for their research and the future of free energy developing right here in Colorado. The beam goes through this uh, pulse cleaning pulse cell. In this laser lab at CSU. Amplify the laser from nanojoule to microjoule level. Hundreds of mirrors to create more energy. To create more energy. Researchers like Xu Zhen Wang and Yang Wang have been leading the nation in laser technology for years. More than 20 years, 22 years for this laser, yes. Getting bigger and bigger. And now their work here is getting the attention of some of the leading laser companies in the world, like Marvel Fusion out of Germany. I think over the last three or four years, we've gained a lot of momentum in terms of what we've been doing with the Department of Energy. And I think Marvel um, has seen kind of what our capabilities are. Marvel Fusion's plan to build one of the largest, most powerful lasers in the world and figure out a way to power the world with those lasers. Embarking on a $150 million laser research facility here on the CSU campus. This would be carbon free, uh, unlimited clean energy. That's right. Scientists have discovered that harnessing a laser's energy mimics the sun, which could lead to a new source of carbon free energy. This high intensity laser can actually help simulate the conditions and the temperatures inside the sun and understand the physics of how hot it gets, how much energy it absorbs and all that. As researcher Reed Hollinger explains, it's like harnessing the power of a hammer to a nail. What this laser represents is a way of compressing energy in, in time and in space into a very, very small area. You're essentially using a very large hammer to hit the atoms and superheat the atoms, right? And then hopefully scale them up to be a commercial power plant. Fusion reactions helping in the race for renewables, which could be a game changer in solving one of humanity's biggest challenges. It would change the world. In Fort Collins. I think we're going to cross that finish line in a pretty spectacular fashion. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. As Mike Nelson just said, those are some real smart guys there. <laughs> we are still waiting to see CSU breakdown of the $150 million investment or who's paying for what parts of the project. Construction, though, is set to begin next year, and the laser lab is expected to be finished by 2026.